Hello and welcome to our first tutorial on getting started with Stable Diffusion and Generative Art. Today, we are going to work on installing Stable Diffusion locally onto a computer we have physical access to. This definitely isn't the only way to run it, but if you want your own local installation, this is the way to go for Windows users. For Linux and Macintosh, we will make another video, just for those operating systems. First let's discuss the requirements for installing Stable Diffusion onto a local machine. A very basic description of the type of Windows machine you will need is a PC that will run Windows 10 and has a discrete NVIDIA GPU with 4GB of VRAM or more. If you have an integrated GPU, you will run into problems and it most likely will not work. This is because of the heavy use of the GPU to generate images and below a certain threshold of specs, it will not work. Obviously, you will need to make sure you have enough disk space to hold all of the degenerative models you want to work with, the plugins, and of course, the images. Laptops that have integrated graphics and separate discrete GPU will also work. Our first step is to install Python. What is Python? Well, Python is a programming language that simply put, is a collection of tools that can be used for a wide variety of applications. While you won't become a Python programmer using Stable Diffusion, you will still need to install it. In a way it's like drivers for supporting a PC game. Much of Stable Diffusion relies on Python, so this step isn't optional. Let's get to it. You can install Python from the Microsoft Store, or from its website. After installing it, open a terminal. If you are unfamiliar with the terminal, or as it's referred to in Windows, the command prompt it is a simple application that allows us to enter manual commands. You can press the Windows key on your computer and type CMD to search for the command prompt program. Downloading and installing from the Microsoft Store is the easier option. Make sure you select the correct version of Python for your Windows machine. You want to at least get Python 3.10. Stick to this version as it is the most compatible. It may be tempting to install later versions of Python but don't if you want a smooth experience. But if for some reason you want to download it directly from python.org, take special care to make sure you select the correct version. Make sure you download the Windows installer. And remember, you want version 3.10. Once you are done installing from the Microsoft Store, or the independent installer, you will need to verify it's installed. You will open the command prompt again if you closed it. Type Python and press Enter. You should see a result that prints out Python 3.10, among some other information about that particular release. If you see this, congratulations, Python is installed. The next tool you will need to install is Git. Git is a code management system that helps with installing and updating Stable Diffusion. Follow the link in the description to download the Windows version. It's a simple installation that should complete quickly.
And now for the main event. Installing the Stable Diffusion software, which includes the web UI called Automatic 1111. Let's start by opening the command prompt. You may not be in the directory that you wish to place Stable Diffusion in, but that's not a problem. Using your Windows Explorer, navigate to the directory you want to install Stable Diffusion into. Then, simply, at the top in the address bar, click and type CMD. This will open up the command prompt in the directory that you want. Next, we are going to clone the repository. What this means is that we are going to download a copy of a code project that is on a Git server. This is why we needed to install Git. So now that we are in the directory of our choice, we will run the git clone command. After you run this command, you will find a folder called Stable Diffusion Web UI. Congratulations! You have installed Stable Diffusion, and now you are ready to download a model to start generating inspired images. I've included a link to one of my favorite models, Realistic Vision 5, but there are so many to choose from. You can see the wide array of them on civitai.com, an online collection of free models and other tools for Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111. After you have downloaded a model, you will need to place it into a folder Stable Diffusion inside of your Stable Diffusion project. There are many different types of models, and Stable Diffusion checks these directories on startup to see what is available. While it's possible to store these in other places on your computer, it's easier to keep them in the default location. Now that all of these are done, you are ready to start the web UI. Navigate to your Stable Diffusion folder and look for the file called webui user.bat. This is the file we will use to start Stable Diffusion. Do not use webui.bat because we want to use webui user.bat, which will allow us to make modifications to the startup of the application if we want and leave the original starting script untouched. Now, double click webui user.bat and it will launch Stable Diffusion. It will take a moment and you will able to see a lot of the things it's doing in the background before it launches. Be prepared to wait for a bit the first time you run it, as it has many other things to download and set up on its first run. Once it's ready, if it doesn't open a browser window automatically, navigate to the local address, as seen here and in the description. Now the world of generative art is at your fingertips in Since this is going to take a moment, have a look at some of the things we have generated so far with Stable Diffusion. See anything familiar? Stable Diffusion has a lot of different functions and settings built into it. Way too many to cover here, but don't worry have searched the web gathering quality videos you to watch to learn more about generating art and how to customize it to your liking. Enjoy and congratulations on your first step into Stable Diffusion. Thanks for watching the tutorial and if you want to know more, check the linked videos. Happy generating!